Hi everyone, this is episode 4 in my Mima Secrets series. Please watch the other three if some of what I uh, explain is not that clear. It's explained in great detail. So these are uh, things given to you by Mima systems, which is not related to Mima. So in other words, it doesn't give you multiple channels, but it's a little bits of magic that you get because you've got that magical Mima box sitting inside the radio. It sits inside there and it's used regardless of whether you've got more than one path. So I get back to my previous array. This is an example. We sell arrays like this. In a radio, it's an Omni, often for marine use. Now, I explained in the previous one that each of these elements may have 7 dB gain. They brought, and we always used to say to people, you need brought because the yacht is tilting. Okay? And then people tackled me. They said to me, yeah, now you explained to us that even though you can't get MIMA, a MIMA box can phase all of these together to just one of the four radios and get us this beam narrower because it's got higher gain and this one will have 13 dB. Now, what happened to your story that we can't use this high gain because it will get disappeared and that's the next little secret. Because what I did explain to you in that first video is by changing the phase, we've got this magic box and it can change the phase of each of these elements. So I can, if the boat tilts a bit like this, I can steer this beam upwards by just introducing a little phase change. And the MIMO box will do that automatically. So the MIMO box will be able to steer the beam roughly anywhere within the element. It can't steer it much more than element because there's no radiation. But it will be able to say this element has got plus minus 30 degrees. This beam here is say only if it was 30 degrees, 60 degrees, it will be four times smaller. So it will be 15 degrees. But it can steer it up and down and it recalculates the best combination every millisecond. So as that thing tilts, that beam will steer up and down. So no longer do we have the problem. It will, as you got tilts, it will keep it aimed at the base station. Isn't that magic um, so you do get this magic and even if you do uh, sorry perhaps uh, i've seen some people implementing marine antennas where they put four of our antennas in a radar okay they also four omnis now I also thought because they also typically seven dbi omnis and once again you may not be able to reflect off side things which is what you really want to do with nemo to get the actual multiple streams but if you're too far away, nothing to reflect off, it can still, instead of four omnidirectional patterns, and believe me, it can go and steer, it can phase these four, now I won't explain how, instead of having omni, it can get this pattern, okay, towards the base station. And if the boat turns, it will steer that pattern. So once again, instead of having seven DVI elements, this guy is going to if it's not getting all of the other advantages of MIMA, it can give you 13 dBi. Once again, remember that 6 dB more signal gives you a doubling of distance. Why doubling of distance? Because the signal goes down as 1 upon R squared. So if you double, the signal is a quarter and you need to go 4 times up, which is 6 dB. But 4 times is massive if you're on a yacht. I mean, it means that if you could go 40 kilometers, you can go 80 kilometers. Even if you were at 40 and you had signal, it will triple or more your data rate because you've got more bits per symbol. All explains in previous videos. So actual magic, no MIMO, but you still get a massive advantage because you're using MIMO antennas um, without having the MIMO. Both of these will work MIMO-wise if you're very close to shore. But far away, this is likely to be the biggest benefit.